I'm not too loud. Hey, what's up, my little strawberries? How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Comedy Chow. This is Mario. This is Natalie. Hi, guys. What's up, everybody? It's sun shining. It's 40 degrees here in New York. Mother Nature doesn't know what she's doing. I think she's on menopause. <laughs> but we're going to get through it, right? Because yeah. we're tough. We're New Yorkers. We'll just cry about it to our therapist. Yeah, it's supposed to be warmer, and we're just waiting. Spring should have been here a few weeks ago, and it's... Just not happening. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I'm gonna start blaming it on Putin. Sure, blame yeah. it all on Russia. Yeah, yeah that's a good call. I think that's really what it is. That, uh, uh, it, you know, we, we should NFT the weather. I think. Okay. Um, nah, I have no idea what I'm saying. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> where? How does that work? How do we do uh, that? <laughs> how do you NFT? Uh, you, yeah. Nah, I mean. I mean, listen, well, certain places, if you think about it, certain places do NFT the weather. Like if you go to Africa in certain spots, it's hot. They own that. That's <laughs> theirs. They own hot. Oh, God. We're coming in hot this episode. You know? Yeah. Well, mm. it's morning. We've had enough coffee. Yeah, that's Speaking right. Speaking of coffee, you look at you like a little hipster with your giant jug of I'm coffee, going, iced coffee. Yeah, I'm going more Amish with this one. That's actually how I light my house at night. I put a potato and a couple wires and there we go. We got a light bulb. <laughs> like That's a science what I do. experiment. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I uh, I do all my cooking during the day. <laughs> and I, yeah, I use no technology. And That's what it is. you're in bed by like seven o'clock. Yeah, you have to be. <laughs> yeah. Mm. No, we're having a, we've had a doozy of a week, I think. Oh yeah. We hit a bunch of mics this week. Yeah. No shows, but uh, we've been pretty fortunate because last night there was audience at a mic, which is great. That's like, you know what that's like? That's like finding a fry at the bottom of your bag. Like, a, yeah, like one that's completely, you didn't realize like it was Like that there. one fry, like, or an onion ring yeah. in the bottom of a fry bag. And that's you go, amazing. oh my God, this yeah. is a little treat. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. so that was cool. It was it was fun. Everybody was awesome. Um, Yeah, so obviously there's that. How's uh How's your week? Um, week's been good. Um, I mean, we, we hit the same mics, so we actually, I hit a new, we hit a new mic this, this week, St. Mark's comedy club. Oh yeah. And that was good. That was a cool room. That's a really good spot. Um, yeah. The, uh, the co-owner, super cool. Yeah. Super cool dude. Yeah. I like it. You know, it's, it's always good to see a place that appreciates comedy. Oh yeah. You know, like, uh, like where the actual, like people that work there understand it, they get it. You know, I mean, um, you know, unlike some places, you know, like Cellar, uh, 77. Um, anyway. <laughs> RIP, RIP, RIP. Um, RIP, son. RIP. But yeah. Well, yeah, I think that's something that I'm going through with like trying to start my own mic with another comic friend. Um, and that's awesome. not every venue, not every place in the city gets, I mean, you're trying to start comedy there. We're kind of in this weird, like resurgence of like comedies popping up left and right, like bars, restaurants. Like I know there's like a bakery that I know has like a, an outdoor space and like they just put comedy shows there. Cause it's like a space where you can do it. Yeah. So you can do it all over the city, but not every like venue or owner or whatever knows what comedy is about, like how to like what it entails, which is just like, Sometimes it's like a dozen comics talking about ridiculous shit. Well, yeah, it's kind of like um, I feel like uh, most owners, they're treating comics kind of like when their kid <laughs> is asking them for something like, Dad, can I yeah. have this thing? Yeah. And they're just like, yeah, whatever, kid, just play for a little bit. But, yeah. you know, get yeah. your life together. Yeah. That's like literally you what only it feels get 90 like. minutes once a week and that's it. And then get out of here. And it's yeah. like, OK, exactly. You know? But only if you do your homework. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So. No, I know. I mean, um, look, man, it's kind of cool. You know what I mean? Uh, that there's like so much comedy happening. Um, but, you know, it, everything has like a bubble. So we'll see how that how that works out. But uh, I want to like I'm actually because obviously we've only been doing comedy for a year ish. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder what it was like prior to this. Like, were there that many mics? I feel like. I don't know, man. I mean, there's an ebb and flow happening, but I feel like we're like on this like upward trajectory where it's like people are like, oh, do you have like space in your bathroom for three people? Oh, yeah, we'll have a show there. 
Uh, yeah, no, I, I think th- I'm trying to think if I know of any comics, maybe like a few who were around before pandemic or before COVID who remember it like that, who can like talk about it. But I don't really know if there was like more mics, more shows, or if it really just like, I don't know. I don't know what it was like before that, but I feel like now it's, it changes like every few months. Like there were a ton of mics last summer. Now, you know, like we said, seller 77 stopped doing comedy. Basically they just, canceled comedy forever yeah here he supports uh russia and the war <laughs> the war effort but you know that's 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 allegedly i don't know that for sure okay five thirty edit point <laughs> <laughs> market um but i feel like i don't know i'm i'm curious if any comics listen to this who were like around before covid like if they know uh, what it was like before then like is it better now or is it more, um, are there more options now than there were before? Because I feel like, especially because we were like, we, we've been scrambling. People got resourceful too. Comics start, started putting their own stuff together because there was just not enough going on during the pandemic. Yeah. Well, you start to realize just like you can do it if you want to do exactly. it. Exactly. You know, like it, it's, it's really not advanced. All you need is a microphone, a PA and a place. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it, it. I think it does take a lot of work to run consistently. Like over time, you're just like, okay, it is like something that you're producing, mm. and it's there is that aspect of it. But I feel like that's now a part of the game. Like you have to also you have to be writing your own material, going up on open mics, and then producing your own stuff too to show that you can kind of do it all. You know, if this was like the '60s, yeah, like you would just be like you'd be like a large business owner mm-hmm. if, you, if you organized all the things that we do now on such a micro oh level God, where it's just like even just starting a podcast like what we're doing right now this would be like starting a radio station yeah in like 1965 yeah. Mm-hmm. be like did you hear <laughs> that they started a brand new radio station yeah that's unheard of I like know. that's literally what everybody's doing so yeah. I, it's just it's kind of crazy the time we're in it's like you have to do like triple the effort mm-hmm I mean, which is fine. I mean, listen, man, look, if you love what you're doing, right, you're having fun with it. Exactly. So, I mean, comedies, look, we obviously we love comedy. We're like, you know, not to sound whatever, but, you know, like we're we we really kind of like cherish it for what it is. Right. Oh, look at me getting nostalgic. I'm only a year in. I'm such a little <laughs> honeymoon little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're right. I mean, I think we well, because we also both have day jobs that like we've yeah. had for a while for a number of years and like it's been good. But I think to find something that you're passionate about, a lot of times all of the work that is entails to get there, it doesn't really feel like work because you're doing what you love. You're we're going up on mics, we're getting on shows, we're talking to comics all the time to try to get on more shows. We're creating our own content. Like none of it really feels like super daunting because we enjoy it. Yeah. So there's that. That's a big component. Yeah, hundred percent. Damn. Someone asked me yesterday, like, do you get paid for this? And I was like For real? Yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody's asked me that before too. And it's it's embarrassing. I did the like the like second of pause and like I sucked my I was like um sometimes this is not true. Not I don't get paid at all ever. <laughs> <laughs> so but I had to like embellish something to just you know, but I don't I, I don't know. I, I think I folded under that question only because they were like from an outsider they were like that's a lot of work like you're going up five nights a week almost six sometimes you're producing you're just doing a lot and then on top that's outside of your day job oh that's your regular time. life of like i need to buy groceries today like oh, yeah. normal the yeah. run of the mill stuff yeah um yeah and especially too it's not like I mean, whatever it sounds like we're just bitching but no like no, i'm not also too you know what it is it's it's different because we started it a way later than how like most comics start when they're yeah. like 18 or 22 they still live with their family yeah they have a support group they have no they, they don't know what they're gonna do the next day like i remember that feeling mm-hmm. of just like waking up and just being like so what do i do today yeah like literally deciding your day like yeah. my day has been decided for the last 10 years yeah. just, every day i wake up and it's just like don't die don't die don't die <laughs> get to work eat remember to drink water remember yeah. to drink water remember to drink water yeah. that's literally what my day is every single day yeah um 
but again to your point like doing i mean look whatever it is that somebody's passionate about whether you do woodworking whether you you're an electrician if you're actually passionate about it like there's some people that are like passionate accountants I know that sounds bananas, but so does being a comedian, right? Mm -hmm. For some people, they're just like, man, you're so brave that you go up on that stage. I'm like, no, I'm psychotic. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm delusional. Like, yeah. I, I think that what I say might be funny mm -hmm. and I might, quote unquote, make it one day mm -hmm. in comedy. That's an insane thought. We had a few of those moments. Like, this week, there was a day, like, whenever we, if we don't go up for like a day, the next day we have to go up because then if it's like two days you don't go on stage you're just like okay what happened like what's going on you already feel like you're falling behind yeah so you had a moment this week that was really funny because you we signed up for a mic later in the evening but there was an opportunity i was hosting i hosted a, sh a mic and a show back to back which was a little nutty but at after that you had a chance to go up before the mic that we were going to do later on. So there was like, it was just kind of like chock full of mics and shows that evening. But you have to preface that I, I didn't go up for like three or four days. Yeah. Okay. That's true. You hadn't gone up for three or four days. So I'm like, like a pot ready to explode, yeah. like a steam pot. And you I'm were just like, like, like just pitched. You were like, Oh, I'm going to get on. And I was like, I, it was funny because I was done. I had done an hour mic Back, followed by an hour show back to back I was exhausted and you're like I might get on I'm gonna get up first and I was like okay just go like I'm gonna go decompress and like melt away like yeah. my brain was just like done at that point I needed a break and you for for unforeseen circumstances did not go up you didn't, didn't get a chance to oh it was comedy blue balls that's yeah. exactly what and it was you were so angry at yeah. everybody you were yeah. like <laughs> just in the street like what the fuck you were just so upset and i was like this is exactly what this is what happens like yeah if words could murder it yeah. would be a small genocide yeah. in midtown manhattan yeah you were throwing a tantrum because you're like i didn't go on stage yeah. and that was basically it but it, listen it could be that could be about far worse things Look, let me tell you, when I eventually did do the mic, the one later on that night, oh my God, you were I, so I wanted to say all, every word at the same time. <laughs> I was like, bzz, 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 bzz. you had a lot of fun, though. That's the thing. You had, a, you had a, you listen, I'm glad you didn't go too fast. You took your time. And there's, these are like little things that like, you kind of have to, you had fun. It's pacing. You got to slow your ass down yeah. because pacing your is brain important. is running at a million miles yeah. per hour. Your pa your brain is calculating as you're talking. And so you kind of need to like, yeah. And I knew you, this is like three or four days of not doing any of that. And oh, you're yeah. like, I'm so ready to go. You're like, I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. I think I was going to talk about everything. And I was like, okay, just yeah. go. Yeah. I just started speaking in a dead <laughs> language. I was like, sweet, <laughs> sweet, 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 you sweet, resurrected sweet, sweet, an sweet, entire sweet. culture that was dead yeah, centuries like, ago. I'm like, wow. Oh my God. But when you got off stage, you had, you literally just breathe. You were like, like you were so relieved. Yeah. I said, it's like you came. Yeah, no, really. It was like I finally, <laughs> I finally got with the chick, that comedy chick. I was laughing because it was like, I and I was like praying that your set went well because I was like, you can't, there's, you can't have anything else go wrong. Like, this is it. Oh, no, there's just send no me way. directly to jail. <laughs> yeah. Just handcuff, just before anything happens, like, just send me there. I was like, it's either you do well or a table gets thrown across the room. So yeah. we just need this to like go well. And it did. But it's like, you know, when you don't go up for a while, it all mounts because you're now we're in we're in it enough that we're thinking about comedy all the time. Yeah. I mentioned this before. I mean, and that we're older. We started older compared to other comics. So if you're a comic and you're 25 or under, don't say you're fucking old because you're not because shut the fuck up. You yeah, have time. I can't. I can't stand it. Absolutely. The, uh, the, the the very the very funny local comedian Mike Kramer. Oh God, has, I love him. I'm not I'm not gonna give it away, obviously, because I can't. I mean, you that can't guy's, even do it justice. He, he's his own yeah. thing. It's hard to even like 100%. describe what he does. It's like performative. But uh, he has a thing where he's just like, because he's in his 60s. So he's just like, I can't, the same thing. Like, he cannot stand when somebody's like 25 or under and they're like, I'm getting old. He's like, I'm almost dead. <laughs> I know? remember like, seeing a comic on stage being like, so I just turned 23. I know old, right, guys? And I was like, I'm going to throw 
I if I didn't want my beer so badly, I would throw it at you. Yeah. Well, there was that other kid, too. He's like, I'm 21. And I was like, and he's like, I know older. I was like, shut the fuck up. Dude, listen, I get uh, it. That's your hot take. Yeah, <laughs> that's your hot take on things. Um, really, what that means is uh, you made bad life decisions up until 21. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? They're going to continue that way. <laughs> Just well, yeah. settle in, bro. Just settle in. It's going to fucking it's going to suck. Yeah. Like we're. <laughs> Well, you remember what you were like, too. We talk about it sometimes, like what we were like when we were 21. I sort of just remember being like all over the place. Like, I just Mm. didn't know how to like, like I was barely taking care of myself. I think I was just like running around. I was working a lot. I remember just always like working really, really hard. And I was just like a not I didn't have enough fun when I was 21. I wish I had a little bit more fun. Really? Yeah, I was because I was I think. Well, you were in school. You were doing great things. I was in school. I was working full time. I was in school full time. I mean, I think I'm grateful for it, but I just wish I had more fun. And I honestly had a few opportunities. Like you had a few too, where I was like trying to dip a toe into comedy and never really caught, I never really caught the like, the entry point of like, okay, now I'm in it. You know, it didn't happen until last year. So yeah, well, whatever, man, you know what things happen. Um, yeah i uh damn i forgot what i was gonna say to what you were talking about um well i was gonna say now that we're in it we're older and we're in it and so like we're working overtime almost to some i feel like for me it's a little bit to make up for time but also to just like get good as fast as possible you know and just just like so we're calculating all the time yeah well you know what i mean look there's something to be said about life experience and there's something to be said about like you know again just being students of comedy like for so long you know like yeah look it's awesome if you're you know you're a younger person guy or girl whatever and you're you know under again to your point like you're under 25 yeah and like you've been doing comedy for a little while and like you're getting into it that's awesome because you're literally like building yourself at and you're evolving with your comedy right you're maturing Mm -hmm. with it you know, um, me, I'm just a broken adult. So I'm trying to go backwards <laughs> to what I was like when I was in my 20s. Uh, no, nah, I'm kidding. But um, no, nah, but man, whatever. You know, there's actually a, I, I, I say this quote all the time, but first time on the podcast. Mm. Uh, it's an old Chinese um, quote. It's mm-hmm. uh, make your kids go to work. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Child labor. <laughs> yeah, just send your kids to the factory just <laughs> at one no, no, there's a real, there's a real Chinese quote and it says, um, the best time that the, there's two, t- two times to plant the tree. The first is 20 years ago. And then the next best time is today. Mm. So even if there was something that you, sh- you know, you should have done 10 years ago, 15 years ago, even three years ago, if you start today and just continue, you'll get somewhere. Mm, which fortune cookie did you get that from <clears throat> i got that from a nabisco um <laughs> a nabisco box the back of a nabisco box <laughs> a ritz cracker yeah that the one of yeah, a ritz yeah. Cracker. that's that i you know i like that yeah i think that makes sense and we're not to dwell on the past too much we're not going to do that but it's oh, it's no, interesting no, no. because we get we run into comics of all age like i said my my kramers in the 60s we, there's other people who are older comics who've been around like yeah. um who remember it before pandemic and even earlier than that and then there's new people and how do you feel about seeing new newer comics because i last week talked to a comic she was only doing it for like 3 months mm. and she was very good and for a moment i was like I hate that you're so good, <laughs> but she was cool. She was cool. But you had to do the like, you know? Yeah. You know, all right. I, I, I've thought about this too, because when I, when I, I mean, again, I've only been doing it a year. I can't talk like I've been doing it for sure. 20, but yeah. like, but you know, I mean, listen, this life is kind of fast, mm-hmm. right? The comedy life is fast. So like things feel like they're a million years ago, but they were only six months ago. I know. It's, crazy. it's because the grind is just so much, right? By the way, this is like a whole comedy episode. Mm-hmm. We'll, we will get to food. I promise. We're only 18 minutes in. We're good. Oh, all right. Yeah, we're good. Damn. All right. I don't know how I'm going to do a 20 minutes. No, I've, I've done 20 minutes before. It's tough. I got I barely through it. But anyway, moving on. We'll get to, we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, we'll get to that. I barely. Yeah, we have to talk about that, I actually. I slushed through that one. Um, but newer comics. Yeah, but newer, newer comics, like when I first started my first however many sets you know 30, 20 30 40 sets mm-hmm. i came out hot right yeah. i came out hot and i made people laugh sure because i was very performative and i just sold my jokes 
the jokes themselves were, weren't really that good. Like if you were to actually look at them on paper, there's not a lot going on there. But you know, you're 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 very performative, right? Not saying that's the case for other like th this comic that you're talking about, but mm -hmm. you know, I just remember getting like you know a good amount of people like, hey man, that was really funny, blah blah blah, and that kind of boosts your confidence. And then the more you write. And the thing is, too, you're going to be in front of a lot of different audiences. Yeah. And eventually, you're going to hit that speed bump. And that speed bump is just the fattest bomb that you will just fucking will shit on you on stage. And you go, oh, my God. Like, it's like finding out. It's like finding out, like, Santa isn't real or something. You go, like, oh, shit. So mom and dad buy the presents? Oh, nothing's real. <laughs> Nothing is real in this world. Yeah. So anyway, so to your point, basically, I think it's like that look at uh newer comics you know again you can see who has potential and if they're going to keep on doing it and then you also see the people that are going to need work right mm -hmm. i mean that's still the case even today there's comics that we know that it's just i mean even us I mean, what am i talking about mm -hmm. like as if i figured it out or some shit uh but you know what i mean there's like so many different levels there's so many different levels of like comic but no but newer comics i mean hey man you know uh my advice to any of them is just keep doing it yeah, I mean, it's, um, oh, can you turn the screensaver? There you go. Uh, it's it's always great to see new comics. I think it also makes me, I'm like, oh, shit, I'm already considered like an older comic. Like, in the sense of like, I started this already a year ago, and there's people still just starting it. Like, you're seeing them for the go up for the first time. And that's pretty cool to see because you see them for the first time. And some of them, you know, if if you feel like, oh, wow, they that's actually pretty funny. They got chops like you're like, I want to keep continue seeing them and watching them grow and like do their stuff. You know, that's you, pretty interesting. You know, it's like a, <laughs> it's kind of an interesting uh, life cycle. Like it's like the circle yeah. of life. Yeah. Because I know there was so many times that I would go up and I would just see like people leave mm -hmm. just because they didn't know me. Mm hmm. I was brand new. Mm -hmm. So they were like, fuck this guy. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have to give this guy any like respect. I don't want to see what he's working on, mm -hmm. you know? And then it's, and then it's just funny how that evolves where it's just like, then you go up and then people stay because they're sure. like, all right, you're working on some new stuff. Let's see what he's got or she's got. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we go and we <laughs> see people that we know. Like how many times yeah. we step in a room now and we're like, oh, we know everybody in this room already. Yeah. And you feel bad to leave early. Of course. No, you, know you want to I mean? stay for people's set and be supportive. I think that's the biggest thing is like, I think comedy now just based on other podcasts that I've listened to from other comics, it seems like it's the most supportive than it's ever been right now. Like other comics staying for other comics, being on other comics shows or podcasts or just going to support and like be a part of the audience. Like, I don't think that really ever happened too much until, you know, maybe the last, if I could venture a guess, maybe the last few years. Yeah. You know, the last year or so. Yeah, no, it, yeah, it seems that way. Again, it, to your point, yeah, listening to like older comics that have been around, they're like, yeah. hey, it seems like everybody's kind of like in the same boat together because you never know. Like, it, why push anybody else down? We're mm -hmm. all doing it. And if you truly love it, it shouldn't matter. Yeah. You know, your time will come if it's in the cards. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah no, I think, um, you know, I mean, look, I, I, I help newer comics if like they have any questions or they're just like, mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah. You know, they'll be like, hey, how do you write? What's your writing process? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, you kind of, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, you could show somebody how the sausage is made. Doesn't mean they're going to make it the same way. Fair. So. Yeah. I get asked a lot of questions about hosting. Mm. I get asked like pretty, you know, oh, how often do you host and all that stuff? Because hosting is way different from stand, from just going up and doing a set. Like hosting is Hell like yeah. a lot more endurance. Um. So yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, your 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 hosting is good. Like my 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 hosting is just like, oh, we're here. All right, cool. Next comic. I'm just like, I, I sure. I'm like okay. Like I'm yeah. okay with it. Like I, I keep good energy, but there's no way for me to like fully engage because I just like being a road. I like going, playing, and leaving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I play yeah. a little bit and I get the hell out. Yeah, I like. I enjoy hosting. I I like it a lot. I think now. If we were to say like year two, I feel like the challenge right now for me is the endurance. It's like, okay, you can host. Great. Can you host a mic and then a show back to back? Can you do like a full hour? Can you do 10 minutes on stage? Like now it's like you got the basics down of like, okay, you've been up, you're comfortable, you know how to write material. Like, can you do it at a longer period of time? Oh, and with higher stakes. Right? Exactly. Once you're on like a pro show and you're mm -hmm. like, all right, next up is Louis C.K. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, 
What? <laughs> <laughs> just You're like, like I have no idea what I to do. I literally now. shit myself just now. Yeah. Well, you had so this is a good segue into um before we get into other stuff. This is you had a very interesting show last week. Because we didn't we have four twenty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on a four twenty show. Oh my god, that's right. Yeah, we didn't talk about this. Mm-hmm. Oof. Oof. Talking about now do this is in the vein of like we're stretching now. Now we're pushing our limits to yeah. like do longer sets and things like that oh yeah yeah um yeah again whoever ends up listening to this whether it's backlogged however Uh, long from now or whatever the case is but like you know obviously when you're a a newer comic you know to do anything more than like 10 minutes is kind of like it's kind of a lot especially if you know you're, you're over here trying to write good material right you know if you want to have all a and b material you know when you're doing 15, 20, you know, it kind of sucks to start throwing some like D material, C material, like really dumb thoughts. Like, you know, why are toes there? Like I something stupid, you know, something <laughs> yeah. that makes no sense. So um, I got invited to be on this on the show where it was basically it was a show slash kind of like Mike, but whatever. It was mostly a show, right? Because there was a specific lineup, yada, yada. Here's the deal. Okay. <laughs> here's the deal it was 4 20 okay in brooklyn in the back of a caribbean restaurant and by caribbean i mean jamaican so you could only imagine how much smoke was in this place right and i have no problem with it but when you're trying to keep your head on a swivel and there's just people lighting up blunt after blunt after blunt you're just you're starting to get hungry <laughs> you know what i mean you're starting to lose your mind so the uh, I ended up going up last. I was just the last comic. They didn't even call me a headliner. They were just like, "You're the last person to go. <laughs> You're just." <laughs> so usually the headliner is the last person, but this one they were like, "We're not even doing that. We're not even giving you that dignity." Yeah, you're, you're finishing. The, you're just gonna end the mic show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So and then and then first of all, I'm, I thought that it was gonna be like a show. So I'm thinking, yeah. oh, like eight minutes, which is the average, mm-hmm. like right around eight minutes. I'm like, ah, no problem. I got yeah, eight minutes. Like eight to ten, yeah. Yeah. And then literally the guy goes, yeah, I was like, all right, how much time do you need? He was like, oh, 10 minutes. He was like, you know what? 15. He was like, and I was like, oh, okay. Everybody else had 10 minutes. You want me to do 15? He was like, if you think you can handle it. <laughs> and I was like, okay, dude. Yeah. So whatever, I do it. And um, we'll pause there because I think you're like, when someone says, if you think you can handle it, especially in comedy. Yeah. Just say, we just say yes. I'll You're say like, yes, yes to everything. Yeah. Yeah. If he asked you to do a half hour, you'd have been like, sure. Yeah, no, 100%. Inside, you'd have been screaming. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm like, you're going to give me that extra time to yeah. just talk shit on stage? Sure. Let's, yeah. Let's run the light. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So um, so I'm in this room, and and it's basically the back of a Caribbean restaurant, and they put this, like, it's like a, like a backyard where they put, like, that tarp, like, mm-hmm. on tops so of, like, you know, to keep out the rain or whatever. So I'm there. First of all, the Celtics game is on. This is like, it's like high stakes game too. Like mm-hmm. I don't watch sports like that, but it was like the Celtics versus somebody. Mm-hmm. So forget it. Like everybody's glued to the screens. I go up, the game just ends. Right when they're like, up next is Mario Pisano. I get up there, game ends, people start shuffling out. <laughs> and then all that's left is just groups of girls, right? Whatever, right? That's all, that's fine. But they were all just like, they were talking like as if I was just Netflix in the background. Like, I was just, like, background noise. Like, I don't like who turned on the Puerto Rican, you know? (laughs) So, I'm there, and they gave me nothing for 15 minutes. And I did my full 15. I hit them with everything I could. And um, this was the type of crowd it was. Uh, They wouldn't laugh, but they would repeat my punchline back to me. So, like, I, I have this one joke or whatever, and, like, whatever, I say the name Hector... And one of the girls go, ha ha, he said Hector. And I'm like, well, you could have laughed though. Like, yeah, you know like what harder, I mean? Harder, like laugh. Yeah, yeah, you could actually yeah. just laugh. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it was a lot of that. And I don't know, man, it was like coming back from war. It was like seeing some shit. Because now it's like, uh, like, because it was funny, I had that show. And then the next day, I had to show it with you, obviously, at stand at um New York Comedy Club. Oh, yeah. So I'm going from the back of this bar <laughs> in Brooklyn to now new york comedy club which is like an awesome club yeah and and i'm in front of com- two completely different groups of people so when i went up there 
it was like I over I was like overly ready. I look like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando when he has yeah. like missiles <laughs> and grenades and everybody else is nice and yeah. they're just sitting and they're paying attention to me. Yeah. Because that other crowd, they didn't give a damn that there was comedy happening. They were just like, yeah, what is this? You said you even tried flirting just to like get something from them. And like that didn't even work. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, literally like there was because there was a lot of girls. So it was a lot of girls and it was a lot of minority women, which I can skew to because I am I'm half Puerto Rican. Right. So I just figured, hey, let me like flirt on that. You know, let me get mm -hmm. on their level. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me flirt a little bit, like be cute. Right. Because there was no dudes there. So like it didn't matter if I like was being cute. Right. So I did it and they they looked at me like I left them on red. Like as if they, like as if they tried, you know, yeah. hollering at me, and I was just like, ah, eh, no thanks. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was a rough, rough set. I'd probably say that was the, one of the roughest ones that I've had for sure, for sure. I remember. So after your show, you came back because I was at a mic and we met up, and you just looked. You hilariously, you were like, oh, he. I was like, he's high, just like contact high, like from oh, being yeah. at the restaurant, and then just you just looked you were like yeah i did 15 you just like threw out like you just normally you're if you're like if you don't do well you're kind of down about it if you do well you're very really, really excited this was just like you're kind of like in an abyss like you weren't really like you were there but you weren't there yeah and you're just like yeah that just happened i don't know <laughs> it was just very like yeah yeah, you yeah. looked out of it no it was like, hilarious like i said it was like seeing a war scene they were like there were so many bodies <laughs> There were so many bodies. I just <laughs> You're like, I tried this and I did this and yeah. nothing happened. I, I tried it. There's just left and right. And they just, yeah, yeah. man, it was, it, it was literally like that. And, um, like I said, they were just smoking back and I was, uh, the, when I was waiting to go up, mm -hmm. I was standing in the back, um, like above these two dudes that were sitting down watching the game and they just were smoking a blunt after a blunt. It was like nonstop. Wow. They, I, I was waiting there. I don't even know, 10 minutes. They easily smoked like eight or nine blunts just Jesus. back to back wow. so like the smoke is hitting me and i got high mm -hmm. like i got high as shit my heart started fluttering i started fucking wanted to eat shit and i was like fuck that's fine I was like this is not good but anyway i called somebody little nas x and that almost uh caused a fucking riot yeah. yeah yeah do yourself a favor in the back of a caribbean restaurant never call anyone in there they look like little nas x yeah they, they uh, uh they don't like it too much yeah yeah you said the crowd turned on you i was like what do you mean like turned on you like they stopped laughing and you're like no they were turning on me as if they were ready to fight me and i was like oh, oh it was close okay. it was close they were okay. rolling up sleeves and yeah. i was like hey hey guys yeah chill chill remember chill. <laughs> i'm yeah. just the court jester I'm funny <laughs> yeah i'm just a funny guy don't punch the pillow <laughs> yeah. yeah so anyway so moving on so that that sucked dude yeah. but anyway but just to bring this full circle look these are the gigs that kind of like make you yeah you know everything yeah. can't be you know like even if you just get light chuckles at mics like that's okay it's the ones where you bomb your whole dick off even if you don't have one you boom bomb, boom bomb your ovaries off <laughs> bomb your tits off yeah and uh and but you know that's that's what builds character man yeah, absolutely. I mean, those are the things you're going to remember. And I mean, we listen to like you listen to Joe Rogan. I listen to a couple podcasts and radio shows by comics. They talk about their these memories like that built up their careers to where they are now. Like it's For all years. part of it. So we're on it. We're on the grind. <laughs> yeah. We're doing it. Yeah. Um, we're tired, <laughs> but it's 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 a good tired. It's a labor. Yeah, of love, man. It's, so. it's it's fun. It's awesome. Um. So uh, you want to get into some food? Let's talk food. All right, let's get into some food. Uh, what is it? So when we were waiting for the mic, we had some we had some pasta, which was awesome. Oh, yesterday? That was great. Yeah, yeah, it was lovely. It was good. They handmade it, right? They make it in-house? So yeah, believe it or not. So this place, it's on, um, I mean, it? I guess I'll give them a shout out. Yeah, they're on they're on Seventh Street and Second Avenue. What's the name of it? I didn't even. Uh, it's been around for a while. I can't I can't remember the name for that too. But um, I'm gonna look it up real quick. You uh can fill in the yeah. Void. So we had a so we it was this Italian place. We were trying to go there for a minute now. They were packed, and they I mean the big thing is that they they make their pasta in house, 
And it's just like a very simple Italian place, like no frills, no like gimmicky things. Um, we had good wine. I had a bolognese. What did you have? You had a broccoli rob situation. So it's called San Marzano. I had, I would have no idea. The thing with this place is it's really pretty too. It's like a nice little like blue, like restaurant front. I had no idea that the na- what the name of the place was. Yeah, they don't ha- they don't advertise the name, which is weird. But the place has been there for a number of years now. Yeah. I think it's been there for probably close to ten years, maybe. Yeah, something like that. And uh, San Marzano, which isn't that a region or a tomato? It's like a tomato, right? Uh, San Marzano. I don't uh, those know. are tomatoes. I'm Italian. I should know this. Um, I was like, I don't, you know, tomatoes yeah. are your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Beans are yours. I don't know. What are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I only can speak about beans at an expert level. <laughs> yeah, and um, pan flutes, um, <laughs> <laughs> and indigenous, fucking yeah, and indig- throw jackets. indigenous garb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> anyway god you look like an expert tracker thing you look like you would rub the soil and be like there are coyotes over there in the <laughs> yeah. mountains and i just like pull my messenger bag to the back because i'm about With to your go baby on. in it yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> you're just like it's not even mine it's not like, my baby it's just like, like a random baby yeah, that have, I they, you, yeah they all have random babies in yeah. pouches <laughs> and you just hear yeah. the flute going as they're yeah. walking away yeah exactly to an undisclosed location that's what's one of my past lives that's what i was like yeah you were just a backpacker yeah in patagonia isn't patagonia in chile Chile? yes yes it is it is we we why do we hold on a second it patagonia is in chile chile but only mostly white people wear patagonia i thought patagonia seriously was like someplace in california with all the amount of white people that wear it uh that's a good i don't know I don't know the history of the company or the region or the, the yeah, the, the area. Because it's an area. Yeah. Right? Patagonia. Yeah. TBD on that. Put a pin on it. We're going to do some research. Yeah. We're going to figure it out. Yeah. Because I, mean, I got nothing. Like, do you think when they, like, sew the jackets and send them off, do they think, like, it's going to, like, normal people? Like, you know what I mean? Not normal. Sorry. <laughs> what I mean is, like like not well to do people because patagonia is expensive right isn't it oh my god yeah i went to go try to get a gift there and it was like oh a vest is like two hundred dollars and i was like excuse me um which yeah. is crazy uh we'll put a pin in patagonia because we got to do more research i got to figure out we got to figure out what's the story behind that yeah um but you were talking about the restaurant okay the italian restaurant san marzano is yep. what it's called um, they make their pasta in house. That's what you said. That's what they advertise it okay. as. I don't know if that changed or anything. Okay. Because they only have like four types of pasta, and then it's like you kind of like build your dish. Yeah. So you pick your pasta. You pick kind of your like your protein base or like yeah. your vegetable base. Yeah. And then whatever sauce you want. Yeah, and it was really good. It was really nice and light. It wasn't too you know uh, too heavy. And we also had Brussels sprouts, which is like yeah, the Brussels sprouts too. are pretty good, man. I don't know. I like that place. It's a very like. Look, I when I went there, I went there when I was like like twenty something, mm-hmm. right? So like it's a cheaper place, yeah. And like they still are holding on to that price point, which is yeah. great. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like for what it is we had, it was like pretty cheap. That's why when you go there, there's just like a lot of kids. Yeah, there were some younger people there for sure. Um, but it was cool. It was a nice, like, very New York style, like busy packed restaurant. Um, so that was good. That was nice. Where else did we go? I feel like yeah, we... some good handmade pastas um I, we really didn't go anywhere else because after that it was the mic no. but uh but no nah, man i i love a good i love a good fresh made pasta yeah i really do like it says a lot when a place like advertises that and they mm-hmm. actually do it because the quality is just so much better mm-hmm. than like box pasta mm-hmm. there is a restaurant that i've been to which shall not be named at all for fear of uh a mafia hit but um uh, that I went to, and uh, I won't even say where it is, too. <laughs> it, where, you know, A, it was in a neighborhood that you would think would kind of promote, like, you know, authentic Italian, really good stuff, right? You would just think, just based on the neighborhood. Um, and me being raised on box pasta, regular, like, regular store bought pasta, I could identify that immediately. And then, So I ordered some food and they gave me box pasta. And I know because it just has that cardboard, just like just plain taste to it. 
and I was just so upset. Mm. I feel like it shouldn't be that hard to make pasta. But you said this place. I was like, should I reveal this information or not? No, it's fine. Then, it's like, how would anybody know this? Potentially. This could we be don't know. anywhere. We don't this know. This could be anywhere. We don't know, but you feel like it was like a front of some sort. Oh, easily. Listen, so. I was sitting down and there was Tony Soprano sitting across from me. He was like, gabagoo. And you, then you were like, oh, no, I love box pasta. <laughs> yeah. I ate it and it just, I ate it and I was like, what the, f-? and I was like, what is this shit? And then they all started staring at me. I was like, it's the most amazing thing I've ever this had. This is incredible. How did this you. This is so good. How did you do that? Yeah, man. Brago? I mean, <laughs> I thought, you know, just imagine trying to be a Karen and like complaining to the manager at a mafia ran restaurant. No, that's a bad idea. They'd be like, I want to talk to the owner. Yeah, sure. Come in the back real yeah. quick. Let's yeah. show you where we grind sausages. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Yo, just imagine. You know, funny. I won't. I, obviously, we'll do this like off camera. I want to look up their Yelp reviews. Oh, 100%. To see if there's anything under five I stars. I love looking at restaurant <laughs> Yelp reviews to see what other people say. I mean, because it's good to like figure out really what other people think of a restaurant. But also just I want I like finding like those whacked out like crazy reviews. Oh, yeah. That are so insane. I feel like any review that's kind of really ranty and complaining for this particular place they're probably have never been seen since <laughs> oh yeah they disappeared they yeah. never came back they moved to california yeah they so, pressed quote, unquote, and then there was nothing yeah oh no you change your identity you go into the witness protection program after that yeah uh i we do have to break in the podcast here because i have a meet i have a hard out oh at noon Oh, okay. Unless you want to do five more minutes. I mean, we could do five more minutes. Let's do five more minutes. Right, because your thing is in 15? Yeah, yeah. We're at 40. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's roll. We got the light. We'll do do four or five more minutes. I don't mean, I know, I'm like always. No, that's fine. No, I get it. I know you want to prepare, get yourself together. Yeah, so the perks of having a day job and then trying to do stuff is, you know, you're trying to balance everything and, you know, just be responsible. That's all. Look, I don't want to get fired. Everybody can't gets afford it. That. Everybody, everybody should. Um, everybody. There's two people. It's me and you listening to these podcasts. But uh, you don't know that. Yeah, this is true. It's it's gonna be cool. Hopefully, in the future, we look Maybe. back and it's like you know whatever. Um, you know, follow Comedy Chow Pod. We're on TikTok. We are on TikTok. You're doing a great job on the TikTok. Instagram. Instagram. Comedy Chow Pod. Comedy Chow Pod. If you have recommendations, what's the email? Comedy. Um, it's comedy chow pod at gmail at gmail dot com. Yeah. It is right. Yeah, yeah. I double check that. Pretty, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure about that. We set up all the accounts to, to think. Yeah, forgot. exactly. We try to keep it uh, consistent over here. You know what I mean? Just We're trying to comedy chow, comedy chow pod, mostly comedy chow pod. Yeah, all of our passwords are comedy. <laughs> yeah, comedy chow one two three. <laughs> we switch it up. We put like three two one sometimes. Yeah, you know, comedy chow Mario. <laughs> Um, we're getting too many ideas out there right Thinking yeah there's gonna be somebody that'll figure that out well on the food side okay so we we had a good italian i'm trying to think if we weren't we went anywhere else in the last two weeks i can't really remember um probably not i mean listen there's certain places that we eat every week like sandwiches obviously you know our spot um which shall not be named. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were yeah, there last night and there was like different people working there and we were like, excuse me? Yo. Like we're part of the business model. <laughs> yeah, when you frequent a place long enough, like you're like, no, no, who are, you're not, yeah. you can't invite new family members. Yeah. Like you can't do that. Yeah. Like you can't make new family members. Like yeah. this is my family. Well, we're both skeptical of newer people anyway. And ironically, like we're just talking about like new comics, but there's always a level that we're just like, what's your deal? Yeah. What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna mess it up. <laughs> Even you just pouring me the water. This water's too wet. Like, There's no, something wrong like with this. this. I, don't I don't like it. This cup is probably dirty because you touched it. Give me another one. Yeah. <laughs> they, making complaints. You know, 100%. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's see. Do I have any any recommendations? Yeah. Anything that... Uh, any... Uh, I don't know. Any jokes? I... Um, no jokes. I've just been doing, I mean, I'm going to probably be roaming around a lot more coffee shops lately, working remotely, because I like changing it up. Nice. So there's a few, like, I always go to, like, Greg, I always, and these are somewhat, somewhat chains, I guess, but, like, pretty New York chains, but, like, I always go to Gregory's Coffee, which is not too bad. I go to Olenstein. 
Oh, yeah, Noel Lindstein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. I think they're like Danish or one of those. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, all their stuff is pretty good. Um, and then I go to this. There's a new spot called 1000 Coffee that I've seen opening up. All right. Calm down with the coffee shops. Why? No, not you. I'm just saying like oh, there's so many New coffee York? shops now where it's like, it just I had enough. It's like super hot coffee. Yeah. Um, Amazing Grace Coffee. You're like, all right, enough of the coffee shops. Yeah. Like it's kind of, it's kind of insane. Well, you have your spots. You have your 787. I've been meaning to go to a 787. That's on the list. It's good, man. It's Puerto so, Rican coffee. Yeah. We have Puerto Rico. Yeah. Should try that place. We have a lot more places that we're looking to go to. Yeah. I got to do a food review soon. We're going to do some food reviews. Uh, Real soon, we're definitely going to do a little bit of like a a food battle between two restaurants. We have to do that. With similar cuisine. Same cuisine, different restaurants. Exactly. And just say, yo, which one is better? And we're going to try like... Like us, did we already say which restaurants? Well, we said um, we're gonna do a battle with Chinese food, and then I'm gonna do Wohop, and you're taking Big Wong's. Oh, Big Wong's, for the and Wohop is gonna crush it. Oh so my god, fuck off! It's not even fair. It's like Mike Tyson fighting a third grader. We're gonna actually go there, so I think that's what we just have to figure out the logistic. We want to record it, like the food. I don't know. I thought we should do it that way, maybe. We're now. I'm now in the brainstorming phase. Or we, or we take like you know both to go, and then we both eat. We could do it like, that way too. Do a taste test of yeah. each, and just be like, hey, yeah. which one do you think is better? But I feel like I don't know. It's like because the thing with Wohop is like it's also the ambiance. Like it's like an old school like you know thousands of pictures on the wall from people who've been there before like celebrities like the the cooks have been there since like the beginning of since new york four. it's yeah. just in- insane and now they're 24 yeah. <laughs> yeah so that's kind of the whole sh- the whole thing with wohop i don't know if big wong's is like that it's just like that mm. i don't think it's just like that i literally I, I when i went there when i was like 17 the same guy is there and now he has gray hair and it's just so weird to be like dude i know you like that's wild yeah so definitely we'll do that but um yeah listen this has been awesome guys you know you guys uh this was cool you yeah know? episode eight this Ep- is awesome episode eight hell yeah um i don't know again follow us comedy chow pod instagram tiktok uh, comedy chow pod at gmail.com if you guys have recommendations you know if you guys want to anyway take care of yourselves guys i'm mario pisano <laughs> i'm natalie g all right you guys have a great day Bye. Bye. Love you. Peace.